Good evening. Off to a perfect 3-0 start. The Fairview Tigers continue their homestand by hosting undefeated General McLean. Brian Scholz's Lancers taking on Pat Flaherty's Tigers. We'll pick it up in the third quarter. Tigers up eight. Danny Bruce cans the three-pointer from the wing. Moments later, next possession, baseline drive and rejection by Bruce as he was playing terrific on the defensive end of the floor as well for the Lancers. Fairview takes over from there. Tyler Schultz to a cutting Jeremy Frizeo. Logan Frizeo with the tip slam. More from Fairview, and it's Logan Frizeo with the step back three pointers. He knocks it down. Zach Scott dishes for Frizeo, who comes up with the dunk. Transition opportunity now. As the Tigers were out running the floor, Frizeo with another jam, this time the one-handed variety. 30 points on the night, 11 rebounds, 4 blocks for Frizeo, and Fairview runs away from General McLean, taking this one 67-44 to improve to 4-0 on the season. It was a crazy feeling, especially in the atmosphere we have. I know um, a bunch of my friends always get the place going. So just to be able to do that and like with, in front of my friends, my family, all those guys, it was just it was nuts. And I can't do it without my team, for sure. Feeding me the ball, you know, we got Scott driving to the hoop and just dishing it off, really helping me out. So it's, it's a great feeling. We try to tell our guys when you play with energy and you play with a motor, uh, good things will happen. And I think we saw that tonight. I thought we had a lot of activity on the defensive end and we got up and down the court. Winners of four of its first five games, Harbor Creek entertaining Mercyhurst Prep. Huskies running the fast break. Jaden Rocco with a double bounce pass to Nick Cray for the game's first two points. Cray finishing with 16 points and 12 rebounds. Mercyhurst Prep counters with great perimeter passing. It leads to the bucket and the foul inside to Trey Battles. He finished with seven points. More great passing leads to Aronde Bridget able to score down low as he only finished with two points on the evening. Back the other way we go. Nobody picking up a flying Gavin Ennis as he's able to score on the nifty reverse. He finished with four points. And eventually it's Harbor Creek knocking off Mercyhurst Prep 57 to 38. They improved to five and one on the season. Kelly Ponsel's Fort LaBeouf Bison taking on Girard out in West County. We'll pick it up in the third quarter. Back and forth game, Ronan Dorler with the floater that goes for the Bison off the baseline. Another baseline move and finish for Fort LaBeouf. It's Carter Wander for two. Gerard answers at the other end. Off the missed three-pointer. Dylan McDonald with the stick back for the Yellow Jackets as he earned that one, being able to get through the defense. Then it's McDonald assists on the straightaway three-pointer from out front, Austin Shady had 20 points. McDonald chipping in with 15. Gerard goes on to win it 48-40 to over Fort LaBeouf. Ryan Toole and Northwestern taking on Cambridge Springs this evening. Action from the first half. Eric Steinle drains the right wing three-pointer for the Wildcats. Steinle with 22 points to lead all scores. Cambridge Springs with an answer at the other end. The drive and score, Josh Reisenauer with the bucket as he had 15 on the night. More from the Blue Devils as they were able to go down low to Nathan Held as he finished with 13. At the other end, Tool with a nice move, circles around and scores. He had 13 points on the night. Northwestern takes down Cambridge Springs, your final 67-49. to 